Hi, my name is Kristen Cooney. I am a senior environmental studies and art double major at Ursinus. We started back in October, actually. The first time I met Bahar, we actually went on a walk to Hunsberger Woods, which is a nice park right around the corner from Ursinus. Really, it started that day. And then from there, we met on Zoom probably every week or so um, with the whole group, which included me and mainly three other students. It felt like a very community-based experience. It, Bahar explained it as very much a collaborative effort um, and that the piece is supposed to be the combination of all of us. Uh, one plant that Bahar included was ironweed and that's a really significant plant in this area particularly because of the connection with the environmental justice movement in terms of coal mining in the Appalachian Mountains. Um, a lot of times the female activists that advocate for more sustainable terms of um, mining and the coal mines around here, they describe themselves as ironweed because the roots of ironweed uh, run really deep in the soil and they're really hard to remove. Um, and so she did include illustrations of the roots in the wall on that side of the gallery, which was really exciting to me because that was a story that I brought to the table. Really so many parts that I love, but I think one of the things that really captivated me when I saw this piece finished um, is these patterns here that kind of are just like these like little crescent shapes that repeat all across this corner here. Um, it really reminded me of just like the Pennsylvania landscape and I come from a place in Pennsylvania that's um, pretty rural and so these sort of like rolling grassland prairies um, are just kind of like a comforting reminder of home and Bahar also said that she was inspired by lots of the pictures I've taken on my nature walks around here in this section. Um, and so just the fact that I could kind of see myself in the piece and that Bahar picked it up in the images I gave her, um, that was really cool and personal to me. So that's got to be one of my favorite parts.